There's now a revised plan from the state to try and stop trucks from hitting the Onondaga Lake Parkway Bridge. The DOT says it will no longer reduce the entire road from two lanes to one lane in each direction. News Channel Line's Christina Galvin joins us live from the Parkway. Now, Christina, why did they decide to make this change from what was announced just a month ago? Jeff and Christy, the state DOT said that this is something that they can do quickly without having to make any structural changes to the bridge itself. They also say that it's a great help for truck drivers who may see this and cause attention to being able to avoid actually hitting the bridge. Now, traffic will be reduced to one lane in each direction, but only as you approach the railroad bridge itself. The state DOT expects, expects to be a 1,200 foot stretch on either side of the bridge. All told, that's about a quarter of the parkway that will be cut into two lanes. If you are driving through here, you would essentially merge into one lane as you approach the bridge, just like you would into a construction zone. And then once past the bridge, traffic would expand back into two lanes, playing a role in preventing more strikes and should only take drivers a few more seconds to get through. But I think once people see the actual change and that it's not the entire parkway um, and that it is, you know, uh, seconds, a difference on a commute um, and not minutes that that people will, 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 you know, understand that and be a little more uh, accommodating of that, again, with the intent to, um, you know, reduce the number of trucks hits. Smith says that work on these lanes will begin sometime this summer. An exact time frame has not been established yet. Those additional signs have been posted already, and the plan is still to install a traffic signal that will flash red when a truck that is too high approaches the bridge. Live at the Parkway, Christina Galvin, News Channel 9.